everybody what is going on with my live stream here we have a lot changed the first thing you might notice is that my sound quality is significantly better than it had been for the last few episodes I have upgraded my microphone to a standalone microphone USB that records at a much better sound I can record music now if I want to maybe I'll post some music to the channel just to change things up a little bit and we have uh, so the new microphones one and then next is we have a lot of changes to the farm so in case you guys haven't seen here I went and bought a new cedar now this cedar is not a direct drill cedar so we're going to test out how that works when we do our new field I don't know that we'll need to cultivate first if I plow first so we're gonna plow first and then we're gonna see if we can just seed over top if we need to get a cultivator in then we may have to do uh, that too but I'm trying to make my seeding situation go faster because not that this cedar isn't doing well for us because it does both direct drill and all that and it also fertilizes I just kind of want to get things done faster but this also since it doesn't have fertilizer you know I now need to get a fertilizer state down so I'm not sure how we're gonna do that we went and bought this digestate spreader now I'm thinking this guy is okay but I don't know if I want to use digestate in the long run as of right now, that seems to be what we're going to be doing. We might upgrade our digestate slurry spreader. Someone might have to tell me what would be a good one to use that has a good swath on it um, and a decent sized tank. Because this one I tried using while uh, last seeding season, and I ran out maybe two or three passes doing this field alone. I had to fill up like six times to finish like all of my fields. Actually, just this field, and then I had to fill up like another seven times for the other field so I definitely want to get a better slurry spreader um, since I spilled the filled this one up we're going to use it on the next field that we do but then we might change it up if we get some money to do that um, obviously we have a new lime spreader when we want to do lime because it happens a lot faster with that um, and this still has fruit and seed in it so we will use that um, too at the same time uh, plus we also picked up a few new tractors we picked up this fiat agri which is going to help us um, with a lot of things preferably auto doing our seeding and our plowing uh, actually it doesn't work the greatest for the plow or the mower but it's mainly going to be used for seeding and towing um, I may not keep this in the long run um, I just love the look of it but I found some other tractors I might do this tractor um, I've debated on getting rid of but at this point since I own all these tractors I'm not getting rid of any so I'm just kind of like collecting tractors um, also so we uh, did some grass harvesting last episode or not last episode but last time when you guys weren't paying attention because I wasn't really doing anything uh, live streaming here so we are converting our grass into silage here um, slowly and we now are using this tractor here we sold a different uh, sold our larger um, tipper and went with a smaller one because it was on sale and I figured this thing would be in tandem with that and get roughly the same amount of size between the two um, so we we could just use this for everything um, plus we could tow this around with our tra tractors too if we want to separate um, here we have our regular uh, pallet pickup tra pallet tra tractor we've been using this on a regular for all things that are in our stuff so in here we have honey at the moment um, we have our um, factory here for lime, which again, I think I've, I don't know that I've turned off lime for fields. I don't think I have, but I've turned off stone for fields until they come out with the, um, the digging pack where we can get like a bucket truck, a tractor and scoop um, stones from the world and maybe like start a quarry, quarry to get limestone. I don't care to collect stone off of fields. Honestly, if I did stone, I would just be pushing stone back in and collecting it is just frustrating with the current equipment. So we have gone away from using uh, stones altogether. So stones are off on the fields now. Uh, we now have a uh, we now have a small sheep farm here to produce some pallets of wool for us. I don't know how long we're going to keep this. This is just kind of to like supplement some small income and a place for us to put our grass when we get it, when we cut it off the fields. Um, but we're really converting most of it over to silage um, and this was all trees and we bought a new machine where are you there we are and we started cutting down trees with things and we did that entire area so we cut down all those trees 
Um, the thick ones we weren't able to do with this tree cutter because it only does medium sized trees. So there are some trees in here that I just won't be able to do with this, but that's okay. We'll cut them down with the, um, uh, by hand. And then we now have this, which also hooks up to our TLX and it's an auto loading logging trailer. And it holds up to like eight foot, I think 10 foot actually. Um, maybe even more, maybe 12 foot uh, cuts, but our machine here can only do eight foot cuts. So we're fitting only eight foot cuts in here for now. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what we've been doing. We use this to make some pallets of wood, which actually may be uh, in time due to be picked up. But I've learned also that this tractor, my TLX uh, trailer does not pick up the special kind of pallets that are created with one of my mods. So I just have them direct selling those pallets for now. So I don't have to load them up um, manually into this machine, into this tractor. So right now they're just selling. We bought a new uh, harvester, nice large harvester, and it uses a relatively decently sized har harvester head. So that is going to help a lot too. We may, so we have not had to deal with any weeds because we plow every field when we're done. So weeds don't ever come up if you plow. Um, I don't know if that's in-game basic, but that's just what has been going on for me. Um, I haven't needed to do anything like that. Um, no, no spreading of weeds because we plow everything when we're done. The question is, is what we need to cultivate? Will we want to seed with the new blue seeder? If so, we will have to buy a cultivator. Um, so with that being said, we're going to take my new tractor here. I like how it remembers that I was in the cockpit for this one very cool um, so we're gonna take this and we are going to go check out um, check out our production area here I was a fill up on gasoline with this thing while we're here so this is where we get our digest date from now. Hopefully this recording sounds great, and if people do start watching, they can tell me how it sounds. Um, we are not producing any um, manure at the moment from straw. I found a new mod that I might download at some point that is going to give us the ability to turn convert straw into silage, and that might be nice. Um, we're not producing anything else right now uh, other than in here we like i said have wood being turned into planks and being sold and i'm pretty sure the wood chips are being sold too because we don't need to worry ourselves with that yep so wood is being sold here in here we don't have anything at the moment just not enough bread to make a pallet in here we have some probably some oil not enough to make a pallet and in here we might have we don't want to have any flour because that's all getting distributed to our factory um so yeah that's pretty much it um we aren't doing much else with our time this episode or not this episode but this this day because we're waiting for this to convert to silage so we can transfer it to the bga um which the bga i'm gonna see is the bga currently doing any work uh it is for manure so it is full of manure for plenty of time um and it is using some of the silage as well so the bga is so that's the fermenter yeah 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 that's the bga yeah 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 there's a little bit of silage still left in there that's what i thought yeah it's doing silage a little bit and yeah it's and it's doing manure so it's producing electric charge and it is giving us uh money off of that so we won't need to do manure for a while that's why I said I don't know necessarily that I want to collect hay off the next field. I keep calling hay straw to convert to manure for us to add to here, so we, we may not do that. Um, and then we will take the sell the electric charge. Okay, so that's all you guys really need to see for that much so far. So let us. I guess we could fast forward because we are in the month of April. We have done all the planting. We are just waiting for things to be produced. Um, and everything has been fertilized. I think we made one mistake, actually, when we were doing our last field here. We did not roll the field, I think, before we... Yeah, we forgot to roll the field before we uh, herbicided it. <laughs> so, no big deal. But we forgot to roll it. 
um, in this field we roll, but if for whatever reason doesn't ever need a rolling state um, for planting. It is what it is. I'm not, I'm not worried about that. So we are going to wait. We're going to sleep off uh, a day here, and we are going to see what it is that we get off of these two production facilities that we have here producing pallets, honey and, um, and wool. And we will come back and see how where we get with this month because I think next month we won't be harvesting so we might we, we won't read, I don't think we'll reach grass cutting so we'll have to fast forward to at least July to get what we planted to come up which I think will be canola on this field yeah so there won't be any swap to pick up from this field so that's not a bad idea and we'll get a little bit of money and we can take a look at what's on sale while we're here uh, yeah, that's a nice little cedar. I wish I grabbed this one because this one is both seed and fertilizer, it looks like. So that would have saved us a lot of trouble. Hmm, maybe we buy that now. What does this one cost us? Where's my cedar? Grassland, I guess here's 50,000. Ugh, ugh. I think we ought to just pick it up while we can. Uh, 300 horsepower. This is one of the ones we have, and it's 235. What tractors do I have? Anything with 300 horsepower? I do. And this one is 235, and this one's about 80. So yeah, we technically do have the power to do this, and it has to be the big tractor. So yeah, I think we're just gonna pull the trigger, and we're just gonna buy this guy. He is a big cedar. Why give me the option for wheel setups if you don't let me change it? I don't understand. But yeah, we might pick this up right now. And we are going to sell off the other one. It has seed in it, but it's whatever. I mean, we could use this way more. 12 meters versus 15 meters. We could use this with other tractors, no problem. But this one, the fact that it has... This does have the ability to see directly, no previous cultivating or plowing. Hmm. Maybe we'll hold on to it and see what happens, because if we find that this one just sucks and doesn't do us a solid, this does everything what this one does, but this one has fertilizer, this one does not. Otherwise they both see the same thing, and this has the ability to direct seed, this does not. We're going to see. With that being said, then, we are going to go pick it up with our... I shouldn't think we'll be able to tow it with our Fiat Agri, but we won't be able to... Uh, I don't think we'll be able to use it, obviously, with this tractor. Turn down the in-game sound, we don't need to be that loud. At least tow it. That's what's going to matter. Just barely. This is a nice large cedar, and I'd hate to not be able to use it in those seed fields so quickly. Just fine. We have the ability to turn the fertilizer off too if we wanted, which is nice. Even with that size of that swath, that's going to be amazing. I am not going to open that up and regret doing that. We definitely want to make our get some more fields in and we are going to test this out. I am not going to be able to back this into anything at the moment, I don't think. There's not even, oh, there's a slot available. But it definitely ain't going to fit inside of there. Alright, we're 
going to see how this is going to work out for us. Barely gonna make it. put this away without causing a massive problem. It looks like it's going to mostly fit. Oh! It's in there. Cool beans. Can't complain. Hi James the King, thanks for joining. I appreciate watching. Sorry for not seeing your chat sooner. Hi James the King, thanks for joining. Whoa. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like what you're watching. That's all I can say. Alright, so we have a machine that we can try to seed with when it's time for seeding season. So that's what we are going to do eventually. And hopefully the sound is good. It sounded like it was on my stream, nice and loud, so which is good. Excuse me. I don't think we're going to do much else this episode. Or not this episode, but this day. And we're going to move on. Yeah, we're going to go to sleep. Wake up at 7 a.m. the next day. Oh. Sounds like it's raining in game. Oh, not anymore. I wonder how loud my knee. Oh, my knee's crack. Oh, ouch. All right, next day, May. We got a couple pallets here that we will be able to pick up. Let's see what else produced for us. We had our grass go. Our grass went up a stage. Nice. Looks like we got some over there of our wool. This is probably mostly done to converting grass into silage. Oh, don't tell me it's selling the silage. No, it's distributing it. That's why there's silage in there. Well, then, yeah, what am I doing? Uh, if it just distributes the silage for me, I don't even need to have this thing here to pick it up. This is just a dump. Okay, so it's distributing the silage right to the silo, which is why I'm getting money. I gotcha. So it's distributing right to my, from my fermenting silo, right to here. And then it's distributing the silage. From the bunker to here. I gotcha. One way or another, it's somehow ending up in here, and that's important. And then I think the same thing is happening for my manure factory. Yeah, it just now distributes. I don't need to do the actual distribution myself by moving it. The only thing I need to deliver now using this is getting the 
um, goods to the actual. So this this thing is just functioning for us, and the rest of the people are for us. I see. Okay, no panicking. No panicking. All right. With that being said, here let's hop into here because a lot of stuff seemed to have produced the last couple of days. I'm gonna go around the block here. Actually, we may pave this as we come around. We may change where our honey pallets spawn because this is kind of frustrating where it spawns. Not easy for me to drive up to, you know? Wool just does not produce fast enough. Like, I have healthy guys here. They are 100% health. They are stocked on food, and they really only produced this much wool. Like, that's insane. Something's not right. We're, we're going to definitely get rid of these guys. I don't really care for livestock. I love harvesting and machinery. And wool is just great. I think I want to get the cotton. That's what I want to get into at some point. So we'll probably just let this go, and then once they're done producing, we'll break this down and we'll turn all of this into something. Now, I'm having an issue where I might need to buy a stump grinder because I can't get my. Yeah, I can't get this to work. Yeah, I can't get that to work. So. We need to get a stump grinder to grind these out because our machine didn't cut it far enough. Stump grass, see what's on sale now. Another the same ones from before. Is this a stump grinder? Yes. I just said I need a stump grinder, and there's one for sale. Yes, and it's a mulcher too, so we could use this to plow, but we don't do that. We we do stump grinding with this thing. So yeah, let's buy it. Again, I didn't see exactly actually what it requires. Forest for equipment, yep, and it requires 200 horsepower, so we need something relatively big. I don't think that's going to be enough, so we'll get this guy, he's got plenty of horsepower to do it, so let's go get it. Let's get rid of those stumps, because I'd like to turn this area here. It doesn't have to be another field, but this here might be more storage. I might turn this into some tractor storage. And then this could be another field. I'm not entirely sure. If it is, it'll be a cotton field, and as we'll see, as a test field. If not, we'll just extend one of the other fields. And I really... That stone was cool to have it in the middle of the field, but I last few times I've been harvesting, I've been, like, regretting that it's been there. Because it's just so frustrating to have to work around it. Get our stump grinder and see if we can grind those stumps away. Lower the forest remulcher. the teeth on the back of that thing. Wow. Interesting. Alright. Try one more 
top. Turn it on. Lower it. Oh wow. It even leaves it in a plowed state. That's kind of funny. But yeah, it makes quick work. If you're quick about it, you won't plow it. That's nice. Yeah, look at that. It gets rid of the stump, but it didn't. That's cool. Oh, we gotta cut those last two trees down. How did I miss those? Yeah, this is cool. We're not going to collect these, we're just going to get rid of them because we don't want them here. Alright, so yeah, we now need. We have way too many pieces of equipment that don't have a home. So this area here maybe become my new barnyard where we store a bunch of things. Like, this is a nice little area for storage and things for but I might just keep like my actual drivable equipment over here rather than all of my actual like working equipment because it is a little frustrating to have to back in here and do all this we'll see I haven't decided how we're going to go about it yet all right so we aren't ready to harvest anything yet trucks and everything are still waiting to be so let's get our harvester ready for the next month. Yeah, so like this isn't like ideal of how I'd like to store this stuff. ready to go because this is going to make quick work of here. Okay. Got all these bees producing honey for us. Alright, we aren't doing anything else. This should be done. Is it done producing grass? No, it's still got grass in it. It's still producing silage and it's still distributing it to our silage facility here. Gotcha. So I need to. I know what I wanted to look at. No, no, no sales on a slurry slash spreader here. Because that's, that's one of the things we're going to have to look into. Because this just eats up slurry. I mean, slurry digestate, which is fine. I love that I have plenty of digestate to go around. But I want to be able to do it a little bit faster than just an 8 meter spread. But that is how things go. So we need to sleep off another month because we are not going to do any logging today. We want to get right to the harvesting part because that's what Keel care about. <laughs> And it's raining crappus. We're not gonna be able to, oh wait, never mind. I was gonna say we're not gonna be able to harvest. It's raining. But it's morning and we could harvest now. Alright, we made some money. Oh we can't harvest this isn't ready yet. We might have to wait a little bit longer to harvest. We got a little bit of honey that's probably gonna pop as soon as we get a chance. So let's get our tractor trailer. Yeah, like what is this? Like one day we get a full pallet. It's just insane. One month. It's just almost pointless. I think this is to be the best. 
best way to do this is to drive it this way. I mean, because I'm picking up partial honey pallets, it's not going to stack perfectly, but... See, we just go deliver this almost full pallet of honey. It would be nice to get a little bit of extra income. This might be what we work on at some point too, is actually we might not go cut those other trees, we might cut these trees, just because it'd be nice if this was an actual thoroughfare that we could use. So maybe that's what we do. equipment definitely not going to need to this won't connect so we don't need to do that but we will want to go get This little thing is great for starting, um, but like I said, it doesn't get the thicker trees, so that's something I've learned. start clearing out some of these trees here and making a pathway.
This is so sweet. What did, I should have done logging with this many other times. <laughs> Let's clear out all the tiny trees. This is the pathway I'm imagining right here. All small trees. But that's perfectly fine because we don't care for the small trees as a collective standpoint. Okay. Alright. Yeah, that, that's a nice little path. We can trim down this one last tree here. And let us get our tool. To draw us a roadway. Who's stump grinding with this? I'm just to uh, get rid of this one. And there we are. We have a nice little pathway right there. So we really don't need to do much, Let's just back this out of here, since we now have a roadway here, kind of already planned out. Let's open up our fast baler, and a bale trailer, it's transport bales, and it's an auto loader. Cool. Nothing that I need though. Let us get our construction going here. And let us take a look at our pathway here. Perfect. So we are going to get our landscaping tool. We are going to, I guess, use the slope tool. So set slope target point. And then slope to point. smooth right there and we paint it with a roadway small roadway but it does count
Okay. So we now have a pathway right through here. To get us right to where we would like to be, which is to sell a cell point. So much easier now to get to the cell point. Let's just cut this tree down. Now that we've like cut it off from its root. <laughs> Alright. So that's cool. Several ways in and out now. Now we could, I kind of like that this is a forestry area here. And we don't want to do anything with it. We just want to cut that one set of trees down. So let's bring this back over to where we were because that'll be our forestry area. Lots of trees to cut down with this thing that we could use. We don't have to do over there. All right, everybody who is watching, I do appreciate watching. I think it will be one of you. But hey, whatever. I do appreciate you stopping by. It's Joe Thunder. We have a new microphone. Hoping that the sound quality is good and that you guys can hear me well. We'll put this tractor, this uh, thing that. We have here further away. We don't like. We don't need our fields to be perfectly flat, but I like our fields to be relatively flat. And we have. This is our largest field, I think. And I don't need it to be any bigger. I'd like to use this here as our logging area, and just do a plethora of bit of logging during our off season. And then when that mod comes out for us to do digging, we are going to turn it into a quarry over here because I think it'd be a pretty cool quarry. So. So we aren't going to do much more logging here today. We will eventually, but right now that is all we have planned for that. And we're going to sleep it off until the next day, and we're going to start harvesting right after. Creepy sound, as always. Please join me for the chat, everybody. I am not famous. And it's boring alone playing this game. All right, we are ready to harvest. Get her going. Oh wait, no, it is raining, so we are not harvesting. Man, that stinks. Well, the morning will be raining, but the afternoon won't be. How are we looking on our grass field over here? Because we can cut that. Ready to harvest, so we shall. Cutting is not technically harvesting, I believe, so we won't get a yield um, penalty if we begin doing it with this. So it looks like all of our fields are ready to be harvested. 
So this is where things get busy. We'll get the grass cut in first because I don't think that's going to be harmed. It'll be our morning thing we do. Yep. Good deal. Alright, so that's going to harvest. ready for to, uh, wind rowing it which I would like to get a bigger wind rower at some point but again not super necessary we'll just get it lined up hmm. let's go get our honey This is reducing our harvest, but how are we looking on our silage production? A little bit of silage left, we'll work with our manure. I think this thing will do just fine. I oh, know we've tried it with, with it before. It's just too slow. Not strong enough. So we have to use this guy to do the pickup. Hey everybody who's watching, I got three viewers, one including at least I think myself, so two viewers. Oh, maybe not anymore. But I do appreciate you swinging by. Please check it in. Say hello. Let's get this tractor out of here. I don't know why this tractor doesn't auto shift any better than that, but I like this tractor because it just looks cool. It's not a, it's a very underpowered tractor, but for what I'm using it for, it does the job. I needed an early game tractor that can do basic wind rowing and things, so, so here we go. can get ready for pickup. Now realizing we are a little bit low on our silage additive, so let's go pick some of that up. I don't typically use silage additive, mostly because I don't, I don't know that it makes a difference all that much when I am putting in the fermenting silo, so I'm not entirely sure.
<sighs> I forgot I left these logs here. Right, they'll stay there. Almost the full. Almost completely used it up. Definitely don't want to do cow farming. I think we're just gonna do. I think we're gonna get rid of sheep, or unless if we can do a much larger sheep venture. I don't think we're gonna do much sheep. Oh, I don't know why I'm coming over here with this because I need to go back to the grass field. Because this this sheep thing's just kind of sitting here in the middle of nowhere. We may turn this into a field about town, sure. the one down with this tractor is really only meant for doing auto tractor things. <sighs> it's not easy to control without like a shift the way to shift gears and I haven't figured out how that works with this tractor yet. So as an as a helper this probably would work fine but out of here. Shite my car.
Oh goodness. Discord to see if I can get anybody to join me in the stream here. Go to CNS. So that's done with that load. We're probably done cutting, which is great. That is wind rowing. Might have to fast forward time a hair so we can get a little bit of the multiple two to things that are done here. Um, let's just fast forward time a little bit. Straggling pieces in there. And then we'll probably stop after we finish harvesting. This grass. But I do appreciate everybody who's watching. And if that's a few of you who stop by after the stream ends and watch the finished video later. It is a Thursday. It is not a Saturday. It is not Thursday. It is Thursday Thursday, so not many people may want to watch this right now, so that's cool by me too. But just so you're aware, I am streaming live, and you can always watch any other time. Mm, grass dump. What's for sale this month? Anything good? A baler, a planter, slash heavy nice eater a manure spreader and a nice big tractor 558 horsepower tractor dang
fruit and they go. Pick up the silage here. Not very good at doing it quick. I'd be lo love to be able to do that real fast without having to slow down. But Dumpage. Actually, we're going to have to get off in like 10 minutes because I have to shower. This tractor I'm going to use for way other things because using it to go that slow is really killing me. Figuring out how to get this thing to shift gears is killing me. Completely unnecessary. So this is going to become, if not my, we can't plow with it. It's not strong enough to use the plow. The other ones are, are not strong enough to roll with this, so that's kind of a downfall. So this one's done being cut. I'm going to put this away. field with the other mo other roller 
put this away temporarily. this to roll. The field. Looks like they finally started raining. field. Let that go. We can harvest now. That it stopped raining. No swath to pick up. This can go pick up whatever the swath gets. Or whatever the class can pick up. here and can we buy more field we can't so let's buy yeah, so now we have all this extra field that we can now harvest from and cultivate from and all, all of that, so. I'll buy this one too while we're at it. So now we have all those fields that we can start making into arable land. We could leave this one grass. And just continue to do grass harvesting from here. I think that would be totally respectable and fine. This one, we may just extend this one out. I like, see, I hate that this is the canola field. I wish this was a wheat field. Because wheat is much more my preferred thing to harvest. Because I like to make flour, then I like to make bread, and bread sells for more. But, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to leave it as such for a year. For the year, I might turn something into a... I might, I might do cotton once we get the money to do 
of cotton machinery. I can't just seem to back this thing up without any freaking difficulty. Wow, the thing's already got a full grain tank. Okay. log the log uh, trailer I'll go pick up those logs that are in the way Drop this off at the sawmill. back to the logging area. Alright, worker B now has a full grain tank so we can go get that trailer. This is going to fill most of the first truck. And then we'll have to use the second truck, the second trailer part. Go too fast. But that's okay because we're likely going to fill it up completely.
Okay, we are done here, so we can go ahead and move you back to where the tractor trailer is, so we can do our moves of pallet goods. This thing takes forever to do its job. Whatever. You can now be plowed. stop it here it's not much else that you guys are gonna see besides me prepping each field for the next harvest we will likely extend one of these fields out or make a whole new field out of this double sized area here since we own all of this we may make this a huge field here that runs into the next one so we, we might we might do that we're not entirely sure just yet But we have our finished here. We can fill that up until that fits full. It's full. Back up. Fill up the rest of this. the straw swath on this next field because it's just too big of a field to do the straw swath on but we will use it on the small field excuse me acid reflux can everyone hear me okay watching the stream please let me know that you can I'm trying not to adjust the sound too much here, but I did get a new microphone and I want to see how it works. We have a straw swath here, so we'll just get that going. All right, that is it for today while this plows. That's all we're going to record, everyone. I appreciate you stopping by. It's been great. Chuck Thunder, signing out.